Welcome everyone back to my deep learning step-by-step -step tutorial to the fourth part and this time in this part I will finish implementing backward function for the whole network so recall that when we implemented the L model forward function somewhere here forward uh, at each iteration we stored a cache with, which contains x, w, b and z here in our caches. In the backward propagation module we will use those variables to compute the gradients. Therefore in L model forward function we will iterate through all the hidden layers backward starting from layer L so is the final layer. On each step we will use the cache values for L to backward propagate through layer L. So figure here shows how everything works. So in forward propagation we were going to from left to right and now we should move from from right to left. So I will not get into details in the tutorial in theoretical details so I will try to write this on my text version tutorial if you want to understand it more deeply so in this part I'll simply implement this because I don't want that uh, this part will be quite long so I want it to be as short as possible so we because we'll need to do a lot of stuff in uh, our next tutorial and I hope that next tutorial will be our final will where we will build our network so at first we would write we need to write a model so I'll define a new function so it will be a backward function so backward as before it was forward now it will be backward that's it and here will be different inputs so here will be my probabil probability vector output of forward propagation as before and here will be my labels and cache we have caches so next we need, will need our grads so here will be our gradients dictionary sorry but that's like that and next what we'll need is that we need to get the number of layers so here is our cache this way we'll get our layers next we need um, next we need to get a shape of our prob probability vector and it will be as l dot shape first and next one is we reshape our i so i dot shape to al dot shape just like that So now we need to initialize the back propagation. So in order, we need to calculate derivative of AL. So you don't need to remember this formula. I'll write right now. This is calculated from derivatives. Well, anyway, you don't need to remember it. I'll just write and you just use it. NumPy divide. And here will be my I. And AL and next we do is again divide 1 minus I and 1 minus I AL so here is our derivative that's quite everything is fine and next mm, this is a little bit more complicated so I'll just write it. So current current cache and here is will be our will be equal to caches of L minus one. This is the length of our caches. We will need to call the liner activation backward function. This one because we that's why we wrote it before and inputs to it will be DAL 
current cache and as we used a uh, sigmoid as our last layer as I showed here at first is sigmoid so we have to use it here sigmoid also so here we'll save it to grads because this function returns us uh, da for example and so on you'll see I'll, I'll just write it in a moment and here will be our string of l minus one just like that this is grads of da we need to do the same for our dw and db so just like that and like that dw and db oh sorry here is oh no everything is fine i thought i made a mistake but yeah i made a mistake here shouldn't be an l minus one because d is an activation layer so it's it's a little bit different so now as we do a sigmoid we get a sigmoid gradients we need to do the same for our real layer so what we do here is we again do a now we do a for loop so for l in so right now it will be a reversed order and range l minus one reverse it because we are doing it from right to left as i told you before and here will be also current cache but and yeah colon current cache but here will be our l because we are doing uh, looping it iterating and here we also trying to find liner activation backward but here is now relu relu and and here instead of d d r l we are using uh grads from here because this was our previous layer as doing backward propagation and here will be simply l l plus one current cache or look grads yeah it should everything be fine and here now um there will be a little different values so here will be a uh, da da previous temporary i'll call it next will be our dw temporary and our db temporary just like that and we will should add them to the dictionary because we created it here in the beginning so what we'll do is I'll, for now i'll copy this and here it will be my smaller l lower l and here will, it will be equal to the da previews just like that and i just sorry i just copy it because we need dw and db just like that and here will be l plus one and also here l plus one and here will be dw temporary db temporary just like that and here is our return of grads dictionary so here we finished our model backward function so this model backward function is calling this model and this is calling this one so the same as it was done in for propagation well not the same but similar so one more step i will write in this tutorial so it will be i think you should remember what this function do, do for example um, learning rate I will call and for example multiply by dw yeah this is the update parameters rule so 
I need to write this function. So it also will be quite fast, but this is one of the needed functions in our next tutorial. So I'll just define an update parameter. Parameter function. And here will be our parameters. Grads. Yeah, grads. And learning rate. Just like that. And again, what we need is that we need to get number of layers in neural network. So L will be equal to length of parameters. And it will be divided by 2. And here goes our for loop. So for L in range upper L and now we just need to write an update parameters function. So parameters and here is save it our weights and what we do is we just write it like that will be equal to something. So parameters weights will be equal for weights minus d weights plus one just like that and here is also plus one so in this way we'll update our parameters oh here is also plus one sorry and here we need to multiply it by learning rate so as it's our learning rate we just copy it and write that we multiply it so here is the function for our weights update function and we should do the same for our bias so db db here and of course db here and it's everything fine here we just run return parameters new parameters i, I can remove this and yeah we we wrote this function it's looking quite fine I'll say I think it should work, but well, I won't test it in this tutorial because I would like to finish everything in next part because next part we'll build a final model and we'll we'll test it there. So I should congrats you on implementing all the functions required for building a deep neural network. Well, I should say it was a long tutorial even more especially longer if you are reading it and not watching a youtube because you you don't even imagine how long it took me to write it on my text version tutorial so it was a long tutorial but going forward it will only get better so in the next part we'll put all this together to build an l -mo layer neural network i mean deep neural network in fact we'll use all these models to classify cats versus dogs. So that's it for this tour. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe my channel. Good luck. I hope this was useful for you and see you in a next part. Goodbye.